Buckaroo. All right. <clears throat> so, Jordan, how have you been? Um, I've been fine. Going off? Uh, so, nobody will probably know this. Well, actually, a lot of people who listen to the podcast know me in real life. So, um, they probably do know this. Uh, but anybody who doesn't know me won't know that we didn't record last week because I had one in the bag. I was ready to go. Um, unfortunately, we could not record last week because a little bit into the week, I, uh, well, I got a little sick and then I tested myself negative for the Rona. Um, and then I went to work the next day and I was like, oh, I'm still sick. And then I went home, and then the next day, I was like, oh, I feel even worse. So I tested myself again, and I was positive. So I was like, I don't fucking know anymore. So I just stayed home for like four days. Four days? Yeah. It's supposed to be five days. Well, into the weekend. Oh. So it was like six and a half days, technically. Yeah, gross. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm all better now. This was over a week ago. Um... I, I still have I have dust in my system right now, as I described to Jordan before the podcast. Uh, so it's not the Rona, um, but I did actually deep throat your microphone when I had it. So yeah, I'm not gonna touch anything in your house if you were hacking on it. I'm pretty sure it can live on the stuff, and I'll probably um, use hand sanitizer when I leave. You should bathe in it. You should shave off all your hair too. That's a good idea. Get pure. That's a good idea. I've thought about it. You don't want any. I've breaches. thought about just shaving all my hair off. Just see what people would say. I think people would be like, okay. And then go like back to whatever alien. they were doing. If No, if I just showed up with no eyebrows or anything. <laughs> you don't think people would be like, what's going on There's with you? There's a vine where it's um a little kid, like seven or eight. And the woman is recording. She's like, what did you do? And he's like, I shaved my eyebrows. And she's like... Why did you do it? And he's like, I don't know. Yeah, you're way too loud into that microphone. Maybe I'm not. You should push it away from your mouth. No, you should push it close. No, that was like way too loud. Well, then I'll turn Those you little down. green things were like shooting up. Yeah, that's what I want. You want that? Yes. It's like distorted. It's like the John Cena music. No, it's fine. I don't know. I thought it you don't. Like you shit. don't edit this. Okay. I punch it up in the edit. All right. So. Um. What should we start with first? Should we start with how I dropped a trash can on my foot the other day? I don't give a shit. <laughs> I dropped it. That's basically the entire story. I was taking the trash bag out, and then the metal trash can. I wasn't wearing shoes, because, yeah. Fuck yeah. It. Did you break it, though? No, it did break the skin, though. Oh. It hurt quite a bit. <laughs> um, what a, <laughs> what a story. Wow. <laughs> Today I broke a shoelace. <laughs> yeah. Trying to take my boots off. Um, I do have a kind of an interesting story, I guess, where uh, I have this card here. I'm not going to show the uh, address or the phone number or the names on it, but this is from a a religious group, and the card just says, what happens when I die, after I die? <laughs> yeah, I don't um, really care. It's from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Those are better than the ones that are like, you're going to die, and it has the Grim Reaper on it. I want to know which church puts those out, because those uh, people are cool. Like, that's the church I want to join. It's actually just a band. Yeah, I know. I mean, I think it'd be fun. Like, those are boring. If I get that on my car, I'm like, get that shit off my car. But if I get the ones with, like, the fire and, like, the demons and like, the Grim Reaper on it, have you ever gotten one of those? No. Oh, it's it's awesome. I don't think I'm the target. I think they I'm a lost cause. No, they just... And it's like you never see them, so it, like who's doing it? Oh, I saw this person. Right, because those people are obvious. Um, because it was two women, and you know how my kitchen is, how I can see my neighbor's door. Um, and oh, they came to your house. Yeah. Ugh. And, <laughs> and that's worse than leaving it on your car. Well, I was, I just gotten home from work. It was like six o'clock in the evening. Um. And I had taken a shower, so I was in some Batman pajamas, because I'm an adult, uh, and I definitely look like shit, um, and I was cooking a quesadilla <laughs> uh, in my kitchen, 
which is typically where you cook quesadillas. Um, and I looked over, and there were two women standing there, and one of them looked at me, and I went, oh, fuck, they know I'm home. And then they went to walk away, and I was like, oh, thank God, they didn't... Ah, uh, God. Um, they didn't talk to me. Uh, and then one of them was like, pointed at my door, and then the other one who had started walking away walked back and went, fuck. And then they just knocked on my door for like five minutes. Um, and obviously I did the mature thing, and I hid from them. I would have opened it and just told them to get lost. Uh, well, I don't want to be rude, but I also don't want to talk How to anybody. that rude? I just, you know. No, what you need to do is just have like, when these people come around, <clears throat> just have it all geared up for like the most satanic metal. I think what you're supposed to, to do is tell like... them you're gay and then they can't talk to you. <laughs> well, no, then they're definitely going to try to save your soul. No, it's like, isn't it, what's the, the... Are you saying that's a real law? What's the, it's, I don't think it's the law. <laughs> What's the um? I'm gay. <laughs> who is who are the the Jehovah's Witnesses? I think that they are, according to their rules, not allowed to talk to anybody who's gay. According to their rules, I think so. That doesn't sound like a thing, because it's all just like same sex attraction. It's fine. You're just not allowed to have sex with uh, somebody in your own uh mm. gender. Talk to, or if you're not married, so it's really just like anyone. You just can't. No one can uh, get all touchy. Views about homosexuality among Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, you're actually looking that up. I don't really want to click on any of these, dude. I've already, I already know. I've read there. It's called what like. What does the Bible say about? It's called like the 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 uh, what is it? The Watchtower or some shit. I don't know. Remember in Watchmen, <laughs> when he, they're handing. That's what he was doing. With the panda on it. Oh, in the in the movie. Yeah. In there's, the show. there's a flyer that they give you. And then... And then he's going to get a blowjob. Yeah. And then a squid went squid off. And... Yeah. No, he's crazy. Anyway. That's a good show. It is. Um, The movie, I, I watched the movie the other day. It's okay. Yeah. It's... As far as Zack Snyder movies go, that's yeah. probably one of the it's better a... ones. It's all right. Would you rather watch that or uh, Batman vs. Superman? Oh my god. Watchmen. A thousand yeah. percent. Yeah, it's not a bad I movie. would rather watch any cut of Watchmen versus any cut of... I think I've only ever seen the like director's cut. Like the three hour yeah. long one? Have you seen the one where they insert the cartoon? No. There's this whole subplot in the book where it just cuts to... Uh, I think it's called the Black Raider. Where throughout the entire... Uh, book a kid is sitting at the newsstand reading this comic book um and it cuts into the it's like a pirate guy or whatever it's some stupid symbolism that ties into the moral of the story or whatever but in the movie there's like an animated 20 something minute pirate movie that they made i don't know why they made it maybe it was just for the blu-ray but there are cuts of the movie where it's cut back in like where it would go in the comic it doesn't work as well in the movie. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in quite a few years. You should watch it again. It's pretty okay. I do like the opening scene. I was going to say, instead of actually watching the three-hour movie, you can just watch the opening scene, and you're like, wow, I just got the best part of this movie. About time, I guess. <laughs> Before anything happened. He, and he's got his gun on the magazine, so it says, like, Hitler. It's supposed to be, like, Hustler or something. And then he throws, like, his gun at the door, and it, the, uh... Goes over to three hundred, yeah. Little little Easter eggs. In yeah, there. little little tit tidbits of knowledge. I love that fight scene. I love how ridiculous it is. It's just, just like, to, like throws him through the window. Soothing music. Yeah. It's also spoiler alert. I guess for Watchmen, the comic that came out, I think in the eighties, and the movie that came out two thousand nine. Um, it's Ozymandias. Obviously, is the bad guy. Um, very clearly not the actor in that scene. Like, you can just see his face, and it's just not him. No, didn't he have a mask on? Nope. Yeah. He had, like, a little black meanie. Yeah. <laughs> sort of like the beginning of uh, GoldenEye, where he does the jump off the dam, and it's like the camera's coming over the top of the stuntman, and the stuntman just, like, looks up into the camera. 
And it's just not Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> well, yeah, they're not going to throw him off of a dam. Also, did you... They should have, though. Um, did you know that in that movie... I think it's that movie where the, they're, they're on top of the mountain and it's the plane and he, like, drives the motorcycle off the cliff and gets into the plane and then flies away? That in was... Goldeneye? Yeah. I remember that. That was a real thing that happened. <laughs> they had a stuntman drive a motorcycle after a plane that had nobody in it that just went off a cliff and he... <laughs> Drove the motorcycle off, got into the plane, and then flew away. Yeah, that's impressive. And then in the movie, they I like. I could do that. <laughs> I don't think you could. No, I think I could do that. Um, you want to try? <laughs> yeah. No parachute. Get, get me the plane. Get me the Pepsi plane. <laughs> All right. I'll pay for the plane. You pay for the motorcycle. <laughs> sure. That works for me. <laughs> um, a plane is like $250,000. That's it? <laughs> for a shitty one. Oh. Like, what's a shitty plane? Like, the, like a the single ones? engine. Yeah, like one of the ones up at the airport, but it's like 50 years old. Well, is, was it like an open cockpit type thing? Or nope. Just, no. He had to like open the door and get in. And then in the movie, they oh, cut. Well, they would have had that probably like planned out perfectly where he must have had a parachute on. He did, but. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that impressive. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean. I retract my statement. I'm going to do that without a parachute. Oop. That's creepy. Somebody's here. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't creep you out. Why don't you lock your door? I do when you're not here. Yeah. You can lock it behind you. When you enter a room, lock I the door. Will. We've had this discussion. I just expect somebody to come around that corner. Well, every time you'll I see them. That. You can grab that sword. I'll grab that sword. Yeah. And then we'll be good. Not if it's a dude on PCP. <laughs> those people are invincible. And Punch the hole right through the windshield. I mean, I tell you. I was driving here, right, through this beautiful city, and, uh... Some of it's okay. Yeah, and then you go around a corner, and Particularly a, the, like, block that I live on? Um, yeah, no, it's... Uh, I mean, I, I this kind is of, actually considered a bad area. I'm kind of bordered people. by a lot of shit. Okay, well, I took a wrong turn, and I ended up, um... Uh, sort of where, uh... Oh, like Main Street. Mm -hmm. And then I went up Main Street, and then, uh... Like right here? I went up Main Street, yeah, and then to get on the rotary to get back on Western Ave. Okay. Western okay. Ave has some sketch balls on there. Yeah. I, I just, I saw some... It does. Some trashy people along the way. Yep. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say that I live in the nice part of Augusta, mm -mm. but no across doubt. the street one time... I was trying to go to bed. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I've told, I think I've told you this story before. I might have told it on the podcast, but for anybody who doesn't know, I uh, was trying to go to bed. I heard some noises, and I was like, the uh, person below me is watching TV, whatever. And then they just got louder, and I was like, okay, what's going on? I went to my bedroom window, and I was looking outside, and I saw somebody, a fat white guy, in like a shitty old pickup truck, jacked up. Um, you can picture the person that I'm describing. Yeah, that's like everyone that lives here. <laughs> and he was screaming across that parking lot over there, like 20, 30 feet, at a woman who was standing there in her pajamas, also screaming. And I walked up to the window, and I was looking at it, and all I heard was, You were taken care of! And then, fuck you, I think, was also said. And then he got into his truck... And, and then, he ran her over. Uh, peeled out so loud that it set off three or four car alarms down the street. And then she went back inside and I went, okay, the situation has handled itself. And I went back to bed. Because <laughs> I was thinking, like, at what point do I have to say something? You know what I mean? At what point do I have to go down I mean, there? I think it would be like if like an actual fight broke loose. And stand in my, in my doorway and yell, hey! Cut it out. Trying to sleep in here, <laughs> bitch. Could lean out my window, classic uh, New Yorker in a movie style. Get out of here. Some of us are Forget trying to sleep. That was a bad accent. It was. Um, 
speaking of uh these guys, the Latter Day Saints. Episode five of it's sponsored by the Latter Day Saints. I don't think they would want to sponsor this. Come uh, on to Christ dot org. Question. Um, do you want to take the ultimate Jesus quiz? <laughs> do you think that's a quiz that I can look up? Maybe. I mean, I bet I would ace it. Jesus quiz. Um, uh, you can also episode... go into their come on to Christ dot org. No, Questions. I've I've seen that video. What? <laughs> Come on to Christ. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't think they really like <laughs> I don't it's, think it's come <laughs> un unto. I not, don't think uh, the target audience is going to be thinking about that. Well, they're dropping it off at uh the wrong people, I guess. We can go to www.hisfeet.com to take the Jesus quiz. Do you really know Jesus? I don't like that <laughs> title. I don't want to do. I don't want to do a Jesus quiz. Is your biblical knowledge in the top five percent of biblical scholars? I don't know. Hit me. I'm waiting for it to load. <laughs> I assume it's a web page from 2009, so it's gonna take a little while. Their servers are firing up. The potato they run it on. Here we go. All right, let's take the quiz. <clears throat> Oh, it took me to another website. Yeah, just just cancel that. <laughs> Jesus quiz questions. Here we go. What age was Jesus crucified? I've no idea how many questions there um, are. If it's more than 10, we're not doing it. I think he was like... Do you want 30. the options? Yeah. 15, 49, 33, 86. Yeah, I was about to say he was 33. Who was Jesus' earthly father? Joseph. Paul, John, Joseph, Nebu, it's Joseph. Joseph. Are you sure it's not the space, the high, yeah. high, uh, spaceship from the Matrix? Yeah, it was. Or not. two of the Beatles. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna go with Joseph. Who baptized Jesus? That I don't know. Mary, John, Philip, Judas. Mary or John? It was John. John. John the, John the Baptist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where was Jesus baptized? <clears throat> Nazareth? Uh, that is not one of the options. All right. River Jordan in Galilee. Right. The Amazon River. Definitely not. Gonna go out on a limb and say it wasn't that. I'm pretty sure it's the Jordan River. Uh, the Red Sea. The Nile River. It's the Jordan. Did he fuck around in Egypt? No, it's Jordan River. The River Jordan in <laughs> Galilee? Yes. All right. Where does Jesus encounter the devil during his 40-day fast? Bethlehem, Israel, Mount Sinai, the desert. I want to say the desert. That's very vague. Yeah. That could describe most of those. Just click it. How long was Jesus in the desert? 12 days a month, 40 days, 100 days. 100 days, maybe? Well, if his fast was for 40 days. Oh, while well, he was fasting? I don't know. It just says how long was Jesus <laughs> What in the are the desert? options? Well, he definitely wasn't starving for 100 days. I don't think he was starving for 40 days. No. I don't think he was starving for anything. Whatever the uh, smallest amount is. 12 days? Yeah. All right. What did Jesus announce at the Last Supper? Ah! I've been stabbed in the back. One of you will betray me. That drinking too much wine was a sin. It's that one of, you that one of his me. disciples would betray him. Yes, that's it. His favorite disciple, when the end times would come. All right. One of his disciples will betray him. How many disciples did Jesus have? Was it like 12? Three, 145, seven, or 12? 12. <laughs> what did Jesus' death make possible? I'm going to say... Uh, computers. <laughs> What's your guess? Is that actually an option? Oh. <laughs> no, it's that it, it, you're, you're, all your sins will be forgiven. The forgiveness of sins. Humans yeah. to have the knowledge of the good and evil. The forgiveness of sins. Prayer. The ability to sin freely. No, the forgiveness of sins. What was Jesus' first public miracle? Oh, my word. There's so many of these. He healed a blind man. That's not one of them. All right, give me the list. Feeding the 5,000, walking on water, turning water into wine. That one I've heard of. Raising Lazarus from the dead. 
Yeah, I'm going to go with walking on water. Do you know that that used to mean just walking alongside a river? Like you were walking on water? Yeah, sure. I mean, it did. In which town did Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead? Jericho? Joppa? Bethany? Jerusalem? I've heard of two of these, and one of them is the missile in Iron Man 1. Um, Do you want to say Jerusalem? That's the only one sh- that sure. sounds remotely right. Where was Jesus born? Nazareth. Galilee, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Nazareth. I thought it was Bethlehem. Isn't that yeah, where he, got, he shit out yeah, into yeah, the, yeah. the little... The manger. Oh, we got three dots popping up. What do you think we got? Where was he born? Yeah. I think we... Great job. You finished the Jesus quiz. Can't wait to show you your results. Oh, man. Give I have to put fu- an email in. five bucks. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm taking one for the team. Oh, I could put in the, gonna get, the podcast email. <laughs> you're going to get spammed. Um, Don't use your actual email. You got a burner email <laughs> available? Uh, if I really wanted to know the results of that test, I would get one. Yes, I actually do have a burner email that I yeah. use for spam. Uh uh uh. Burner email. Uh uh uh. Did you get a hotmail one? What is that? Like for porn? What, a hotmail? Yeah. The email? Hotmail. Hotmail. Congratulations, you achieved the following results. 75%. Out of how many questions? I don't remember. That's not bad. Um, Considering I haven't been to church in the... Oh, share your results. Answer key? Nice job. Keep seeking God's word. You placed in the top 40%. Of the people who take this? (laughs) I guess. Who's I mean, looking this up? Like, I don't know. Why did we look this up? Because you got this card here. Oh, yeah. And then, uh. The oh, here we of, go. The here we go. Thought, you know? We can see which ones we got right. We got the when was he crucified? Who was his dad? Who baptized him? Where was he baptized? Uh, where did he see the devil? In the details. Um, 40 days. Uh, what did he. Announce at the Last Supper. Uh, what did his death make possible? Blah, 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 blah. Where's the wrong ones? I guess we got... How long was he in the desert wrong? Because we said eh, it's not on here. I suppose you could fast for 40 days. <laughs> You're still drinking water. Yeah, but you would die. <clears throat> you don't know how large he was before you started the fast. I, you, the, that's fair. The average human can make it like... Three weeks. That's the rule. It's three, three, three. You can go three minutes without oxygen, three days without water, and three weeks without food. You can go longer than three minutes without oxygen. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, Hold you your can... breath for three minutes. No, right you'll now. pass out, but you'll still be alive. Yeah, but if you because people can breathe. drown and be like underwater for like ten minutes, mm. they're passed out. Yeah, but that's after you have somebody helping you after. Right. Yeah. That's not the same thing. You're not breathing. <laughs> that's different. You can also just stop breathing entirely and die and then have people just bring you back. I've seen The Abyss. I know how it works. Yeah. He's a singer for De- Depeche Mode. He, like, died, and then they brought him back because he liked to do um heroin and cocaine. I think. Did he uh uh Flatliners it? Oh, yeah. Where uh, Kevin Bacon... That was a Kevin Bacon movie, right? And then they remade it in the mid-2000s? Yeah, wasn't it, like, a bad movie to begin with? Yeah. And then they just remade it, and it was another bad movie that well, nobody even watched. I was... I think it came out not that long ago. <laughs> That's when they just die so that they can have, like... Get, like, high from it or yeah. something. Yeah. And then they, uh... 2017. Start seeing creepy shit. So 1990 and then 2017. Because I haven't seen either of them. No, I heard they're not that great. Um, The first one has a 6.5 out of 10 on IMDb. Yeah. Second one has a 5.2. <laughs> but I remember seeing the trailer for the remake, and I was like, isn't this a movie? Doesn't this exist? And I looked it up, I was like, oh. 
It does. No, no original ideas on Hollywood. Right. Um, was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Indiana Jones. Oh, we can talk about how you got Venom 2'd again. Venom 2'd again. Um, Those get me every time. I, I don't, don't know, know why. why. Well, it came out like eight months ago, that video. Yeah, well, when I watch them, I do think that it's fake. But then I was like, like I'll question it, but then it'll say official on it. <laughs> and then I just like... They're really good at making like the fan. They're not fictional trailers. Yeah, not. I mean it had Nazis in it. And they then had I was a like, shot from Casino <laughs> Royale. That guy's probably in the movie. He is, but it's a from a movie that came out over ten and years ago. And then I don't know the video where he was like, it it started out looking legit, and then they sure they were. They showed a. Uh, he had a beard. Ancient and he, throne from Atlantis yeah, or something. But what movie like, is weird. the one where he has a has a beard and he's out? In a canoe. Uh, he there was one where he uh, talked to a dog. He talked to a dog. In which he had a beard, like a white beard. Mm-hmm. And was he like I came out here to get away from it all? Do you want me to look it up? <coughs> Harrison. Wait. So is that movie coming out this year? No. No. I think it's coming out next year. Oh, like in what? After uh, I look up the release date, call the Call of the Wild, twenty twenty. Look at this. Yeah, it's look at that bad. big white beard. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably what it was from. Um, I also <laughs> haven't seen that movie. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Are they by... scrapping um, Crystal Skull? I have no idea. Like, is that still a part of the uh, the story? June thirtieth, twenty twenty three. But that's so far away. Harrison Ford might be dead by the time this movie comes out. They're probably counting on it. That way they can get more sales because it's going to be like his last movie. They're going to like Heath Ledger that thing. <laughs> be honest. Are you, going, are, are you going to go see this movie in theaters? Am I? Yeah. Yes? I, Why? I probably will too. I was going to say, like, if you weren't, would Harrison Ford dying make you go see it? Oh, no. No, I don't want Harrison Ford to die. I don't I'm either. I'm just saying it's going to be like when Heath Ledger died and everybody was like, oh my god, it was the greatest performance ever. And he's dead. <laughs> and then that movie was wildly successful. I think that that movie was wildly successful because it was a good movie. Yeah. Do you think The Crow was wildly successful? Dip, 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 dip. Was wildly success successful. I give up. I don't know. No, but who's the guy who plays The uh, Crow? Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee, yeah. Do you think that was wildly <laughs> successful? Yeah. Because Brandon Lee died. I, 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 mean, don't, I don't know many people who have seen that movie. I haven't seen that movie. I mean, I wasn't alive when Brandon Lee died. But. You've never seen The Crow? No. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Is that DC? I don't know. <laughs> it better be, because that's one of, like... I think that's like the, the Crow. one where uh, Johnny Depp took over. And... Um, River Phoenix. For the crow? Mm -hmm. I what, think what, so. For the sequels? No, for the, the He's movie. He's still in that movie, though. Yeah, but they had to shoot a bunch of extra. Like, yeah. they were halfway done, and they were like, oh, fuck. Right. And then, uh, but what's But he's got face? so much makeup on, you can't really tell. Exactly. Uh, I wouldn't know who I was looking at if. I don't know who any of these people are. This does not tell me what I want to know. I think Edward Furlong was the crow in the sequel. There's like three of them. I've only seen the first one. The crow. There's a character named Nemo in the sequel. Uh, I don't care about the sequel. Um. Du, 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 du. Stars. That's got a 7.5 on IMDb. I've heard that it is okay. All right. Who replaced Brandon? That's it's almost kind of looks like uh, Joker was going for a uh, the crow style look. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. 
I think that the Joker came out first. I don't think so. Okay. I'm talking so, about the movie. This is not um real. What just came up. Tom Hiddleston, I don't think, did it. Who finished The Crow after Brandon Lee died? I'm not logging into WordPress. Fuck off. Ooh, looper.com. Brandon Lee was so good at martial arts that it took a fake bullet to kill him. Well, <clears throat> yeah, what was it like? Something that... Uh... It was like it still a, shoots some stuff out. It's yeah, it was like a blank got lodged in, I think. Something got lodged. Like a piece of the casing or something. Yeah. Because a blank is a real bullet. It just doesn't have the bullet part. Like, it, it's still the yeah. the cartridge. Um, Which also, even if they go off perfectly, you do not want that pointed at you. <laughs> Because it still shoots, like, stuff in your general direction. It's just slightly less lethal than a re regular bullet. Yeah, they should just uh, use CGI for that. <clears throat> nah. Doesn't, uh, doesn't look as good. I just want to know if it was fucking Johnny Depp and River Phoenix. I don't care. You could just go on River Phoenix's wiki page and look at his filmography and it would pop up on that turn into a short lived TV show yeah but then I'd have to scroll through well I guess River Phoenix wasn't around that long unfortunately for a uh, filmography what are you talking about he died fairly early on into yeah. his career. It doesn't matter. If you've been in a movie, it's going to pop up yeah, on Yeah, but wiki I'm page. saying, like, his light is... Yeah, so if the crow is not on there, but I'm saying then he that wasn't in it. I was saying that I would have to look through his entire thing, but then no, I said no, that yeah. it wouldn't be as long because... No, he mostly uh, was a musician, I think. Oh, he was in uh, The Last Crusade. Yeah. He was in Sneakers, another great movie. Um... I'm not seeing it. Where did I get that information from? Probably bullshit. <laughs> it's like when Bruce Green at Funhouse thought that uh, Die well, Hard. I know the scene in that, he, days. that he dies in, and I don't know if they actually have his death in the actual movie. Um, I don't know if they reshot that entirely, right. which is kind of weird. If but I the actor who did shoot him like quit acting for like. A year or so. Um, that's fair. I understand that. I want to go on record. If I die and it's on film, that oh, shit yeah. better. Like, if it, if we're filming a movie or something and I die, that shot better be in the movie. Yeah, or if I'm or like, I'm going to haunt your ass. Or if I'm like getting mauled by like a tiger at a zoo, get your cameras out, get your phones out, get everybody's attention, get them all out there, and just film me getting thrown around like a rag doll by this by this thing. Just get it on film. My life is inconsequential as long I, as my I, death I need, gets a lot of views. That's right. And I know I want my uh my family to see that. I want you to know how he went. <laughs> Doing what he loved. Trying to pet a tiger. Uh is that what you love? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes? No. Well that's a oh yeah, that is a tiger, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't really I don't like uh, tigers or well, it's not. It's not that I don't like them. What about I just, lions? I watched Tiger King and now I'm just kind of like disgusted by uh by people. What about lions and bears? Um, oh my! I, I think here's the thing: is like I think grizzly bears are cute, mm. but they're so ferocious that I I wouldn't. I like, could fight a grizzly bear. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. And you can't even run from them. I could. I wouldn't have to run. I just go. You would. Boom. Yeah, you wouldn't. That wouldn't happen. Boom. Right in the right in the neck. Yeah. And it'd be like, oh, fuck, this is a badass, and then it'd run away. I mean, I don't know. I think They can also climb trees, so you don't want to, like, go up. I think, like, you know what would be wild is if you were swimming um, in South Africa, <laughs> and a great white shark just came up and just grabbed you like a seal. Wouldn't that be, like, uh, wouldn't that be wild? I've said before, 
thinking about how scary that is <laughs> where it's like just coming out of the you're shadows. swimming it gives me goosebumps you're swimming yeah and then suddenly you're 25 feet in the air and half of your body's gone yeah that's <laughs> it's like <laughs> you don't even have time to feel like pain yeah. you're just like oh i'm flying now yeah and i'm 50 percent lighter and now i'm dead yeah that'd be crazy uh there's this show i've been watching called something bit me and it's all stories about people that got attacked by animals and one of them the worst one so far i was like i can't even imagine i don't even know how she survived like they were out kayaking her and her husband and this big barracuda leaped out of the water around them and they were like you say barracuda yeah. people say what yeah no no this i i, I have like a like, I'm not going uh, kayaking in an area like this ever, because this was awful. Then it leaped out again, and it smashed into her back, like her side. Right. And uh, she fell over, and then they realized, like, there was just nothing but a hole. Like, it shattered her ribs, and her lung was coming out of her body. So her husband had to push it like this. And then nobody knew where they were. Coast Guard couldn't find them or anything. And, like... Like, sharks were coming because they were, like, chum in the water. And, like, yeah, and it was just, like, they were in the middle of, like, fucking nowhere. And, uh, like, because it was the Florida, like, Keys, where it's mm -hmm. just, you know, like, like, so it took, like, this one local guy who, like, knew where everything was completely. And he, like, went and saved him. But I was, like, that was the worst. Like, literally just a hole. And even after they got her to the hospital, they're, like, we, d she might die. Like, yeah this is like something you would see on a battlefield like uh like a battlefield wound it's not something we, we it's the beginning of saving private like ryan treat yeah just you, you just basically hole. have to make them feel good from a barracuda die. though i guess they can swim like 60 miles per hour yeah yeah <laughs> it just like <laughs> shot out and stabbed her in the back <laughs> i was like that was the worst one so far like the other ones it's like that's not a bite by the way it's not always something. Yeah, some, some of it's like... It, I, I know that you got to yeah, take some leaves from no, the I, name I, of the I show. Have, I, right, because I, I have I thought about that. And then I was like, well, I guess I'm okay with this. Like, if you're getting stung by something, sure, whatever. Because there's another one where these people get, like, swarmed by uh, bees. Oh, man. Yeah. That <laughs> is, like, in terms of things I don't want to experience in life. Yeah, that's pretty fucking far up on the list. Yeah, getting swarmed by that's also Africanized like, killer bees. Yeah, that's a thing that could happen. <clears throat> yeah, like I'm probably not gonna fall into a volcano. No, or be out in the middle of the ocean in Great Wakes. Especially China. come uh, get me. Right, especially for what you do, because like these people are just putting up a sign. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> and there happen to be all these Africanized killer bees living in the sign. That's happened to my dad before, where you you're mowing the lawn. Yeah. And they live in the fucking ground. If they're queens there, they will, like, all And you go you. over their thing, and it's just, like, you just run. Yeah. And you you hope that they're distracted by the lawnmower. Yeah, I got, I, I had a, a stack of CDs I was carrying into the house one time, and this hornet came and stung me, and I dropped them all, and I was like, what the hell? And so I was pissed. And then I went down, because my cousin was there, too. And there was, like, just this hornet nest underneath the stairs of the deck, which has, like, a porch. Right. And, uh, yeah, it was like, how did nobody ever see this? And so then we just got, like, a... I made a flamethrower out of, like, a can of, um... <laughs> you James Bonded it. Yeah, I, I took my lighter and I took uh, some, um, like, cologne spray. Yeah. And I torched them. And then we shot them down with, like, the water. And we were, like, burning them in midair <laughs> and, like, shooting the hell out of them. And then, uh, I think, I don't know, I think I might have also dumped, like, raid all over them. Yep. I was pretty pissed. Yeah. Like, you don't just, like, <laughs> build your fucking house and then <laughs> on my house and then come at me like that. It's not even, if I was out in the woods, you know, like, I, maybe I'd feel a little bit bad, like, knocking it oh, off. Oh, you but, encroached on their, their territory, yeah. but they built but their house on your... it, Yeah, and then come at me like, hey, <laughs> the fuck out of here. There's a new guy in town. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. This ain't yeah, big enough for the two of us. I don't think so. You're gonna get blowtorch. <laughs> and then there was like the lawn was like all crisped up and just burnt. <laughs> My dad came back and he was like, um, he's like, why is the lawn all on fire? And I was like, oh, there's some hornets, and we torched them. <laughs> there was just this big black burned mark, like right where you'd walk into the house where like anyone can see. 
Like the awesome. lawn was on fire. Right. I don't even think it was overkill. <laughs> no. Like I've seen people pour like molten aluminum down there. Doesn't that make them look cool though? I mean, it makes like a cool. Yeah, yeah, down like the the holes. Mm. Well, this was uh, this was like the uh, yeah, high. it wasn't like a ground one. It was yeah, up. yeah. But yeah. I imagine that can you, the, a oh. hornet was probably out doing whatever. What do they even do? Do I they poll? They... Do they pollinate like bees? No. Then what the fuck is the point? They eat the bees. What? We need more bees. Yeah, we don't need hornets. Get the fuck. What is a hornet's purpose? To like eat other bees and stuff we got birds yeah Th- you mean do why that. does it exist yeah like why is it why can't I we think just it's just like a xenomorph it's what just part like a, of the food the chain perfect organism like you say you know you can't get rid of all the mosquitoes because like bats and shit eat the mosquitoes and got rid of all the mosquitoes the bats and everything would die i get it what is eating a hornet probably birds because they're too big for like, I think it's birds. A little bat, a hornet would f- a, a a bunch of hornets would fuck a bat up. No, they wouldn't. The bat would be faster than the hornets, I believe. Yeah, but if it and tried then, to uh, go for it, it would just be like stinging. Um, I'm pretty sure birds eat them. I mean, I'll look it up here. I guess I have the laptop open. <laughs> so what eats hornets? What eats hornets? Um, some species of birds, yeah. frogs, lizards, bats, spiders, badgers, and hedgehogs. Ah, uh, can you imagine a hedgehog going after a bunch of hornets? Hedgehogs eat them? Yeah, apparently. I guess if it finds their nest. Other creatures like rats, mice, skunks, and raccoons may even brave the nest in order to get the tasty larva inside. Hmm. Tasty larva. Yeah, I mean, I'd do that. However, natural predators are not a viable form of hornet control. <laughs> yeah. So don't get a bunch of hedgehogs. So, what's a hornet's favorite food? Um, Depends hornets, on how much money you have in your They eat wallet. leaves and tree sap. Well, <laughs> they're not even doing anything. Hunter are also accomplished predators, feeding on uh, flies, bees, and other insects. They don't they do that thing where they stab some of them, where they stab uh the back of the spider. Yeah, and then they eat them. And they there, inject them whole, with their babies. There's this whole show on. It's I almost I think it, it's like a BBC thing or something. Just, there's I, a billion of those. The one where it's just this guy's garden. I don't think. And so he's no. got this like really expensive slow motion camera. It's all of this is just the dude's backyard, yeah. but he like films all the bees and how everything interacts with each other, and it's actually really interesting. Yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah. like how complex a couple, maybe a few hundred square feet yeah. are, and then you can imagine the Amazon rainforest. Yeah, exactly. It's, I mean, this one, it's like, like um. That's why we got to burn that bitch down. Oh. Make more paper. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this one's like. One of the bees, like, if you'd set up a camera, like, she wouldn't come out of her hiding area. Like, it was just, like, weird stuff where it's, like... It was probably, like, the noise of the fan. It's almost like they all had their own, like, personalities. Well, I mean, don't... Bees sometimes show up drunk. (laughs) I don't know if they eat the... uh, Like, they get drunk off something. Yeah, I've seen a video of a, uh, like, a drunk squirrel. Because it ate these fermented uh, it was the, uh, grapes or something. The, 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 wasn't there... There's something where a squirrel kept stealing, like, prison wine. <laughs> like, out the toilet? No, it was just, like, in a tree. Oh. Because that was more... I think it might have been oranges of the new black. I don't I don't remember. Yeah, prison wines, you... You put, like, a bunch of fruit and shit. You yeah, can... don't worry. I've seen Reno 911, okay? I know how to make prison wine. I also know why the cell, the the beds are bolted to the floor. I know somebody, yeah, that was my favorite. <laughs> I know somebody who's made prison wine. I've seen people do it. And I guess it was disgusting, but uh, you think? got pretty lit. Nobody's going to complain if you add yeah. too much sugar. Yeah. We should probably wrap up here. Probably. Um, follow us on Instagram, JJT, I podcast. Uh, I've been thinking about patreon stuff again um i know we did it for a little while but then we didn't really have anything for it and by we i mean i didn't do anything for it 
but I don't like Patreon. I have been thinking of setting it at a dollar, like the lowest amount you possibly can, and then just putting a bunch of free stuff on, or free, a bunch of extra stuff on there. Like we could do uh some movie commentaries maybe, of like Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four, you know, podcast mainstays Terminator, um stuff like that. See, uh, you know, if anybody is interested in that, I don't know, comment somewhere and maybe I'll see it. I don't, mm. um, yeah, like, subscribe, share with a friend. That's a big one. A lot of people who I know who have weaseled the podcast out of me, I know our, our thing was that we refused to uh, promote this in any way. Um, a lot of people have said that they have listened to all of the episodes of the podcast in like the past two weeks. Those people are crazy. This podcast is not that good. I think I'd fall asleep. Um, but uh, if you like it, which people for some reason seem to like it, share it with somebody. Because the more people we can get to listen to it, the more money we can get. And the more money we can get, the more time we can put into this. I don't want to spend any more time on this, <laughs> I and can, I don't I need can, any money. I can put more. Time and this is just cringy. <laughs> this is just making me cringe. I want to go cringing. home. All right. Well, Jordan's gonna go home. Uh, I'm gonna edit this, and then I ate a lot of Wendy's, so I'm probably gonna Throw die. Up. Um. Bye, everybody.